Yeah. It's snowing outside. What does this snow puts me in the mood for? Boom ball, boy. Or Central Vietnamese spicy beef noodles. Yeah. Let me show you how easy it is to make an authentic bowl of bung bo hoi. Don't blink. I'm sorry to say this. I know I triggered some people by saying the word authentic and the whole thing about being authentic. Let me say this. The word authentic does not exist. Well, it does exist, but let me tell you guys this. The base of every dish is authentic. You drop down the base and the foundation, you build it up however you want it. And you call it your authentic version of whatever dish you make. Don't believe me? Ask your mom. Ask your mom how do they make a certain dish then compare it to every other mom. I bet every other mom makes it different. Now do you believe me? <laughs> Let me show you my take and my version of my authentic bumbo hoi. Don't blink. Start off with any good bumbo hoi broth. I got four pounds of pork bone going into this pot here and all we're gonna do is wash this. So why we're washing this? We wanna clean out any impurities and we want the clearest broth as possible. Nowadays guys, everybody's triggered by the word authentic and how people make things. But let me tell you guys this, nobody's wrong. Once the base is down, you build it up however you want. That's the beauty of cooking. Here I have two pieces of beef tendon and one beef shank. So we're just gonna boil this for about 20 minutes, guys. We wait for that to clean off. I have here another big pot of 16 quarts of water just heating up right now. Some ask me, Quan, since you bought a new stove and stove top, how are you gonna charge your aromatics? It's simple, fam. <laughs> so I got my butane or my hot pot stove top. I got six onions, six medium onions or small onions, and two ginger getting charred up. Once you got them charred, just throw everybody in the pool, guys. I don't care if they can swim, just gotta let them in. <laughs> so to this stock, 10 stalks of lemongrass. 20 minutes up. Just gonna drain and rinse our meat. Like I said before, guys, this will help the process of getting a nice clear broth. And you don't want all that little bits and pieces of muck in there. Once you got that nice and rinsed, nothing to it, guys. Everybody in the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. I'm gonna throw in half a piece of brown sugar here. You guys have rock sugar, throw in rock sugar. Also, one tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna fire up some chili oil for this. So three tablespoons of olive oil. The oil gets nice and heated. Three tablespoons of chili flakes going in. Well, how many tablespoons is that already? I don't know. The more you put, the spicier it be. All I'm doing now is just toasting or extracting the oils from the chili here. It only takes about 15 seconds, guys, or until you start coughing in your kitchen, all right? <laughs> then we're just filtering the oil. Next, I'm adding in a handful of star anise, three small sticks of cinnamon. So just throw one stick, all right, guys? There it is. That's the base of my authentic boom boom way. So from there on, throw whatever it is that you desire, guys. Anything. You know what? I got some daikon. Let me throw some daikon in as well. When I add this in, it's gonna give it a nice, I wanna say pungent flavor to it. A lot of Vietnamese people use this as a filter, but I'll say it does. Yeah, I'll say it does because it soaks up a lot of the, I wanna say impurities, but it just soaks up the broth. Let's get that nice and washed. I'm just gonna chop it down like this. Nice big chunks. Nothing to it, guys. Throw them into the pool. Ow! We're gonna do now, let this sit on a medium high heat for six hours minimum. Next, let's soak our noodles. So the brand I'm using is called JNF. Let it soak under warm water. Lastly, let's just get our topping. So I got red onions. Thickly slice. Next, I'm chopping a bunch of cilantro one bunch of green onion and one bunch of chives or green chives or onion chives. We're gonna chop this finely. Five hours in, my broth has reduced nicely. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop my hydrated noodles for 20 minutes on a medium heat. Drain your noodles. What I'm doing right now is scooping everything out so everybody out of the pool. 
Once you got that all nice and scooped out, I had around 16 quarts of water in this and it reduced down to roughly about 12 quarts of broth. I got a mixture of pork balls and beef balls here, which I'm just gonna dump in. To catch a boil, here's the fun part. Take my favorite seasoning, fish sauce, and we're just gonna do one tablespoon at a time. So taste and adjust for your own liking. All right, guys, so we're gonna do one tablespoon at a time. We're gonna stir it up, we're gonna taste. If it needs more, add more. All day for 12 quarts of broth here, I've added in 15 tablespoon of fish sauce. Let's set this up, I'm pumped. So noodles, pieces of flank, tendon, Just a few pieces. We're gonna throw our beef and pork meatball. And lastly, our broth. Throw some onion and some there too. Take your chopped greens. I'm also gonna crack in some fresh cracked pepper. There it is, guys. Another Bumbo Hui recipe. Moment of silence for this rich, delicious, spicy broth right here. When are you guys coming by? I'm gonna start this up. So, this is our bun bo hui. So, I got some lime here. All I'm gonna do now, stir this up. This is not your traditional, authentic looking bowl, but I tweaked this for my own liking. Can I still call it bun bo hui? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Why can I still call it Bumbo Hoi? Because the base and foundation of this dish is down. Then I just build it up however I like it. Guys, take the first sip of this. Six hours brewing broth. Quick time. Quick time. Nice guy. Nice. Wow. Wow. That's just delicious. <laughs> See? Guys, this is legit. Wow. Guys, noodles, quick time. Nice. Pork meatball. Amazing. Just amazing. You know what I want to do now? You can't go wrong. <laughs> On a cold day like this, and it's snowing a lot in here in Edmonton, a bowl like this, you can't go wrong. One second. I'm not much of a dipper, but I feel like I have to dip it today. So I got some hoisin here and some sriracha. Hoisin with the H, not poison, guys. Come on now. Quick time. Nice. You can't go wrong. <laughs> If you guys are keeping track, my bumbo hui is never the same. Why? Because sometimes I buy less, sometimes I buy more. Sometimes I feel a little more saltiness. Sometimes I want a little more salt. Sometimes I want this broth to be a little more sweet, a little more spicy. Just tweak it how you want, guys. You can see here, wait. Come closer guys, let me show you. You see how there's some fat pockets there? 
Those are little fat pockets of spice. Your mom's broth might look a little different than mine or more redder. The reason because she used anatto seeds. She extracts anatto seeds into the broth. I said anatto seeds don't have much of a flavor. It's just there for the color or the color, yeah, the redness of the anatto seeds. So when you extract anatto seeds, a nice oily red color comes out. It's amazing. Is this authentic? This is my authentic. This is amazing. Are you feeling a little down? Is it cold where you are? Is it snowing where you are? Yeah, come through guys. I'll make you guys a bowl. And we'll see how you feel after. Mmm. Guys, a piece of the tendon. Quick time. Nice. After six hour brewing, melts like jello. Probably one of the best bumbo hoi ever. <laughs> A little ice cream before we call it a day, guys. What do you guys think? Yeah? <laughs> a little chocolate. That's all I want. Just ice cream and chocolate. You know what sucks? It looks like somebody ate all my whipped cream. You know what? I'll find out who. <laughs> Take the first bite of this. Chocolate sundae. Nice guy. Nice. Mmm. Just this by itself is delicious. Mmm. So simple. I should have heated up the chocolate though. It would have been nice. It's nice to have a dessert at the end. I don't know why I don't do it that often. you guys eat your ice cream with a dessert spoon or just a regular spoon? If it's a regular spoon, I'm offended. I'm offended. Like, who does that? Ridiculous. <laughs> That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you have it. Also, don't forget to pick up on your Pump shirts are food and life's beautiful thing. Share, like the share this. Peace out.